now at five. He can tase me, he can incapacitate me, and he can basically do whatever he wants to me. Building a case against a convicted school shooter. At this point, like, I have to get the taser back. From a deputy who scuffled with him in jail as we learn more about the warnings before the gunfire. I'm going to be a professional sh school shooter. Tonight, the key moments of testimony in the Nicholas Cruz sentencing trial. Today marks the eighth day of testimony in the sentencing trial. Now, the jury will have to decide whether Nicholas Cruz spends the rest of his life in prison or he is sentenced to death. CBS 4's Joe Murray has been in court for all of the testimony. She's live from the courthouse with today's revelations. Joan. Well, prosecutors say they plan to wrap up their case next week, and that will likely include a visit to the crime scene. Today, they tried to show that the shooter planned the massacre and that his violence did not end at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. BSO Sergeant Raymond Beltran telling the jury at the Parkland shooter sentencing trial he had a confrontation with the shooter in the jail nine months after the massacre. At one point here, he's going to walk around and he's going to flip his shower slides where he brings them in and he walks with his shower slide folded. So I told him not to do that because I didn't want him to fall. The next moment, the shooter lunges at the deputy and they wrestle on the ground. He has the taser in his right hand. At this point, like, I have to get the taser back. Why? He could tase me, he can incapacitate me, and he can basically do whatever he wants to me. Beltran gets his taser back and the shooter is subdued. Defense attorneys say Beltran had a history of not following procedure, like allowing the shooter to exercise in that space. I was never taken off. You were never taken off? No. Were you assigned to administrative duties? I was. Okay. And how long did that last for? Uh, two and a half years, maybe. For the first time, the shooter, who is facing either life in prison or the death penalty, looked at a witness and seemed engaged watching the scuffle. I hate my life, and I want to take people with me. But that changed when Detective Nicholas Masters took the stand and told the jury about disturbing comments and searches the shooter made on the Internet prior to the massacre. I'm going to be a professional sh school shooter. February 13, 2018, at 0125 UTC, search for how long does it take for a cop to show up at a school shooting? February 2, 2018, at 15.19.45 UTC, search for Stoneman Douglas School Map. Now, after next week, the jury will be off until mid-August. That is when the defense is supposed to start.